Defeated welterweights, touch your gloves. We are underway. Flaminas with a little bit of a reach advantage here. A little bit rangier perhaps, but it's hard work with the center of the cage early. Second bout of the year for Hardwick. Flaminas has been in the cage already three times this year, so a fourth contest. Was supposed to face Aaron Khalid in Wales earlier this year for us Aaron Cage Warriors, but unfortunately uh, Khalid injured. We do wish him all the best in his road to recovery. Just a bit of feeling out here by throwing some fainting strikes, which is stance for Hardwick going southpaw now. We spoke to Flaminas earlier in the week and he said, look, I'm actually happy about the situation with my previous opponent pulling out and, and getting this fight here in Birmingham. It's closer to his hometown. He's got more support here. For every cloud having a silver lining ringing true here for Flaminas as he gets to work with that pumping jab. Yeah, a little bit more active at the moment. Going to be first to the punch. And we saw that very loose, herky-jerky style against Bonner. And he, he told us earlier in the week, he's not just here to fight and win, he wants to put on a show, he wants to entertain as well. So he really is trying to bring the whole package to his fight. Yeah, he saw how quick he looked to, to get that plum clinch uh, in that little tie-up earlier, just really trying to immediately bring the head of Hardwick down onto a knee. A nice counter right hand from Hardwick, though. Laminas really using that length well early, John. Well, that's it, he covered so much range surging forward there. I mean, it's hard to, you know, you've really got to be good at lateral movement in defense to, to deal with that. You can't expect to go backwards faster than he can come forwards. Doing some great work behind that jab early is Lamina. So let's see if he can start putting the combinations together. Oh, Hardwick there, Hardwick though, nonplussed. Yeah, again, it's just a composed performance from both of them at the moment. He immediately like, fights the hands back inside. And Hardwick uh, for the first time against the cage in his corner, but Flaminas with a good head position and the underhook there. Interesting to see what Laminas can do in the grappling phase of this fight. Of course, the last performance we saw from him was very, very striking oriented, so something to look out for for the Latvian Express. Yeah, this is strong work on these underhooks from Hardwick. Laminas manages to pummel back inside. And yeah, you see the, the corner of Hardwick have picked up on that, that, that Flaminas is beating him to the head position every time. And being the slightly taller fighter, this will get particularly uncomfortable for him. Oh, that's good work from Hardwick, not able to maintain, though. Great exchanges early on in the crowd. Appreciative of the action here at the Resort World Arena. Yes, yeah, good pace. I mean, that's an example of a very active clinch from both guys. Nothing static about it whatsoever. Nice kick to the body there from Flaminas. He's a very, very active fighter in there. Yeah, he's using the range well. Work rate's good. Nice left from Hardwick there. And that, again. That's where Flaminas can't do. He can't stay inside there without really putting all the damage on Hardwick. Got the range, let's use it. Those fingers, watch those fingers. And you hear referee Rich Mitchell there just cautioning the fighters for moving the hand forward with the fingers outstretched. They've got to keep the fist closed. It's one of the many amendments to the unified rules over the years to reduce some of the instances of accidental eye pokes. Flaminas really putting the strikes together here. A good cut kick from Hardwick, but uh, he's not getting a second to rest. Again, that's a good body lock for him. Hasn't been able to use it that effectively yet, though. A good muscle takedown. Weighing on the hip. Yeah, for me, he's fighting this with everything he's got, but... Yeah, you see, the corner of Hardwick think that might steal him the round if he gets the takedown, but I honestly don't think it will. 
It's not going to, certainly not going to be significant enough, Stop even there. if you just drop him down to the mark for a second. Well, it's certainly hard for first round there. We saw a little bit of everything. Hardwick doing a good job on the feet. Flamina's doing a great job with his jab. Let's take a look back at some of the action. Nice one-two there from the Latvian Express. Yeah, I think on balance, Flamina's getting the, the better of the work rate. Hardwick had his moments, though. His good right hand coming off uh, that close of distance. You know, in the, in the, in the clinch, I think Flamina's getting a little bit better of it with the control. Um, nice left just, hook there yeah. from George Hardwick, though. Yeah, Hardwick threw back. Is it? It's a tough one for the judges. This. I do think Flaminis generally got the better of the standing, but Hardwick with some good moments. Yeah, it's one of the advantages that Madas Flaminis has. He's a very active fighter. He often looks like he's doing perhaps yeah. a little bit more than he actually is. Yeah, so the judges are going to be paying close attention to what actually landed, certainly more than we are while we're trying to talk at the same time. Basically, if we get it wrong, that's why. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, training under a fighter like Abdul Mohammed, you, you've got to believe that George Hardwick's going to have a, a great Greco Roman game. He's going to be strong in the clinch. The kicker is he's just got to get in and get hold of Flamina first. Yeah, he's trying to find his way in there. And Flaminas just goes straight to the plump inch, pulls the posture down. You see Hardwick has to bring the hips in and abandon any sort of takedown. Great right hand on the break from Flaminas, looking to up the tempo here. And that jab really is piercing the guard of George Hardwick. Oh, goes to the body, makes it up nice, but he eats an uppercut there. It's a good response from Hardwick. Hardwick with a hard leg kick there, and he's cut Flaminas over the left eye. Ooh, left on the break as well. Hardwick putting his foot on the gas here. Flaminas punching back. Yeah, he's having, he's taking a bit of damage coming in, but he's, he's counter-punching really nicely now in this little passage. Business picking up here in the second round. Let's see if he goes to that leg again. I think he's identified the lead leg as... There we go. Oh, nice shot there from Flaminas. <laughs> Straight back from Hardwick. Yeah, Flaminas just doesn't have as tight a guard as Hardwick does. Oh, huge shots from both fighters. That one looked like it may have rattled Flaminas a little bit, Josh. Yeah, Flamina, like I say, Flaminas doesn't keep his guard that tight, and that opens up even more when he's throwing strikes. So that's why these wide counter punches of Hardwick are finding a home. Yeah, the cut doesn't look to be troubling Flaminas too much. It seems to be just over to the side of the eye, so it's not actually bleeding into the eye yet. Of course, that could all change in these grappling phases or if this hits the ground. Yeah, no, it's a, a pretty clean at the moment. That's a good pick-up on the double. First time this one hits the map. Flamina's trying to stay on that body lock. Oh, spinning back place from Flaminas. <laughs> George Hardwick takes it on the chin. Please, sir, can I have another? Yeah, slaps his gloves together as well. Oh, they were still only two and a half minutes into this round. I've no idea how they didn't keep this work right up. Well, let's see, nice step and elbow there from Flaminas again. Goes back to that jab that served him so well. But you can see, just the Flaminas is that little bit scrappier. Both guys landing in these exchanges. Flamina's got the better of that one on wager. Oh, oh nice one two followed by a head kick. Yeah, Hardwick abandoned the counter punching there and it just left him sitting there a bit static. Switch coming, but with a head on the inside, he should be safe. Hardwick took that combination like an absolute champ, though, but be wise not to yeah, roll looked, the dice on that. He, he looked how quickly he had to abandon that takedown with the shots from Flaminas coming in. Got to be careful, he's going to get cross-faced. He needed that guard recovery. He got out of, out, out of position when he tried to cut the angle in the wrestle. And this was a good guard recovery and a needed guard recovery. And on a night where fans and media have been talking about the fight of the night potential on our main card, George Hardwick and Madas Flaminas putting in a good bid early on in the prelims. Yeah, they really are. Let's see what Hardwick does from his back here. He's a little bit flat. Well, there he goes. Knee shield coming in. 
He's going to go Kimura on that far side. You know, it, it's tough to finish from half guard. It's in the knee shield. It's doable, absolutely, but it, it is tough. He's got just under a minute to play with. We'd love to hear your thoughts on who you've got winning this one. Join in the conversation on social media. Use the hashtag CW109 at Cage Warriors on all your social channels. Uh, he's giving up that underhook. And he's getting flattened out again. See, every time he has to go back to shoulders flat on the mat, it takes all that effort to build back up to your hip, which is where you attack from. Flaminius had a chance to free that leg, actually, with the, the angle he had. Flaminius dropping some short shots in now. 20 seconds left in the round. Hardwick trying to throw those legs up. Yeah, back to close guard. Feet on the hips, looking to attack, looking to sweep, but he's not going to have time to do it. What's the back of his head? That is a much harder round to call, though. <laughs> Perhaps the volume from Flaminas, the harder single shots from Hardwick, who knows? Saw that great combination on the feet from Flaminas. I can't wait to have a look back at some of the action from this second round, Josh. Yeah, this is uh, a good clinch. Flaminas, nice short right. Just kind of caught the shoulder a little bit. Let's take a look at this combination now. Beautiful one-two there from George Hardwick. Really nice, impactful shots from Hardwick on the counter punching. Quick double here, just manages, doesn't even connect his hands, but it's the shoulder pressure driving forward that allows him to take the weight off the legs slightly. That's why the legs were lighter and he didn't really need to connect the hands. Let's look at the elbow on the break now here. Beautiful shot from Flaminas. Hardwick takes it like an absolute jam though and marches forward. Yeah, both the guys have, have taken their licks in that second round, Josh. Yeah, really going to be hoping they put the time in the camp for the cardio on this one. Okay, ready, ready. Third and final round underway. Nice show of respect from both fighters. Yeah, one of them is just five minutes away from remaining undefeated. They know they're in a good entertaining scrap here as well. So hard work marching forward. Gonna have some head movement behind that guard, though. Arguably, Flaminius' best weapon all night has been that straight jab. He's used it to cover so much distance and set up that second shot so well. That's something we've not seen as much from Hardwick. He's been more of a counter puncher. Yeah, he's getting beaten to the punch every time. Flaminius keeping his man guessing there. Spinning back kick attempt there yeah. from Hardwick. See, it's different for Hardwick because it comes up the open side for Flaminas, so arguably a little bit more dangerous for him to deal with. Hardwick switching stances here as well, giving Flaminas a lot to think about here, certainly not letting his man settle. Yeah, he's, uh, he's got to get back to the leg as well, I think. That, that was a good weapon for him, it was a good scoring weapon. Flaminas, you know, he stands quite wide in this stance. Game with the jab there, it was Perhaps a little bit more cautious in this third round. Doesn't want to make a silly mistake here. And of course, as you would expect, the, the pace surely taking its toll on both these guys. Yeah, absolutely. You can see Hardwick. The, the offense from him has been very limited so far in this round. Flaminas did a good job of catching that kick and scooping it to the side. Punches his way into the clinch. He punches his way out. And again, Flaminas just keeping the offense going. And the jab just keeps him guessing. Oh, another nice one, one too. It's good fundamentals for Flaminas in, in that regard. He's not having to deal with the counter punching too much yet. Slapping back fist there from Flaminas off the court kick. <laughs> and a nice little fake. 
Oh, Hammerfist from Flamina. You've got to love the standing Hammerfist. <laughs> you have, but it shows just how much more static Hardwick is being in this round. You know, he's he's really eating that first shot all, almost every time. He's just accepting. I'm going to take that and deal with what comes next. Tried that one-two left high kick there, did Flamina. Didn't land the kick that time, but really is putting Hardwick through the ring and out. Hardwick with a big, solid shot there. Lamine is busier on the inside, able to punch his way out. Oh, nice uppercut and a jab from Flaminis. And off the two, Josh, it seems that Hardwick is slowing that little bit yeah, faster. He's absolutely slowing here. I mean, the body shots haven't helped. I am surprised we haven't seen that, that big sort of long-range uppercut from Flaminis as well, because he knows that Hardwick's going to cover and retreat into that guard. There we go, every time, retreats into that guard at the threat of the jab. So you'd figure that uppercut through the middle would be a good option for him. And with 90 seconds on the clock, a stoppage perhaps not out of the realms of possibility here for Flaminis if he can keep his pace up. Hardwick still dangerous with his big shots though. Well, catching the kick puts him down and he's got a minute 14 to work here. Been on the back foot the whole round. We're going to step over that near guard. Flaminis trying to work back inside. A few options here is fighting that far arm. Two triangle over the top. stand up easily here. Uh, again, we saw Flaminis in this position, very good with the striking attacks. Oh, nice elbows there from Flaminis on the inside. Flaminis has just been relentless in this third round, Josh. Yeah, it's a, again, second fight in a row, phenomenal work rate. You know? Looking for a chin strap grip here. Thinking about a ten-finger guillotine, maybe. Tough to see the grip. Well, looks to spin to the back. Oh, he's going to capture the head back. And he just about does. See how he just caught the cross face, managed to follow it. I mean, what a performance from both these guys. We've seen some excellent stuff out of both corners. But Madas Flaminas putting on a real showcase performance here and still looking for the finish in the dying seconds. Yeah, the third round was undoubtedly Flaminis's and by the largest of margins, you know, for this bout, Hardwick just when he came out for that third round just didn't quite look the same. Well, Flaminis told us earlier this week, he's coming out here to put on a show to entertain the fans and he certainly did as we take a look at some of his handiwork now. Yeah, just the, the jab just made Hardwick cover up. I mean, even when the jab didn't land, and it, it did land a lot, uh, it, it just set up that right hand shot repeatedly. Beautiful overhand, right? The range was perfect on that. They're just clubbing blows, aren't they? Went to the body a few times as well. Hardwick able to catch the kick on that occasion, but unfortunately not able to gain any advantage on the ground there. No, that, that was Hardwick's opportunity to work, to try and, you know, maybe fluster Flaminas, try and force something significant, and he just didn't look like he had anything left to do it. I mean, one of these guys was going to have to leave this fight without their undefeated record, but I don't think either of them are going to leave this fight with anything but that head held high. That was two very, very stout workman-like performances. Let's throw it to our MC in the cage, Mr. Hal Chaplin, and he will make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of mixed martial arts action, we go to our judges' scorecards. All three judges score this bout 30-27. In favor of your winner, by way of unanimous decision, in the red corner, Manners! Thirty twenty-seven on all cards. The fight perhaps 